Hey everybody, this is Craig from Nightbolt Games. And uh, today I'm going to review Condemned to Bloodshot. Now, uh, I'm going to be blatantly honest with you. I did not like this game as much as I liked the other one. In fact, the only reason I'm really taking my, to my time to review it is because I reviewed the first one. And with the comments I got on the first one, you guys actually brought up some points about the second one that I actually did enjoy. Um, <clears throat> so let me mute this before it goes back on the fucking video. Yes, this remote's a piece of shit. Okay. Now, the first one, I'll try and do this, like, as spoiler-free as possible. Um, but here's a major spoiler right here. So skip ahead about 10 seconds. Uh, no. <laughs> skip ahead about 30 seconds. Uh, for those of you who played the first one and you beat it, uh, and you didn't play the second one and you're on the fence about it, um, what happens is it goes into the cult a lot, and that Oro that you fought at the... Actually, it doesn't matter if this is a spoiler, because you guys ain't going to know what the fuck I'm talking about. The Oro that you fought at the end of the game, that's what this whole game revolves around. Um, so without ruining the story that much, you can expect uh, more of the dudes with the metal mouths. Um, <laughs> and uh, what happened in this one is, it takes place after the whole, you know, the serial killer X, and the, the you know, Ethan's investigation... And once he starts finding out the truth about things, he gets really, like, shit-faced. He gets violent. He's a, just a nasty human being. He's pretty much everything that you fought in the first fucking game. He's become that. That's Oro. Um, and through this, you know, he's delusional. He's seeing shit and blah, blah, blah. And you just think that he's fucking doll factory. You just think that he's crazy. And uh, these people, the Oro figure out that Ethan's got this amazing power which is the original dragon shout by the way anyways <laughs> um, what made this game fall flat on his face is the investment that people had the first one, you expected something out of this one and you didn't get it, you did not get a lot of the horror aspect however, there are some freaky fucking parts in this game, most notably the doll factory which is what I'm going to show from the gameplay um, but as far as it goes I mean if you care about graphics, the graphics are still pretty decent However, everything else is pretty much matchy-matchy with the first game, okay? Um, there's a little bit more emphasis on guns. However, if you know you're condemned, you know that you're going to be playing with melee weapons. Um, the story's really where it takes a nosedive. I think that any horror game that branches out into the whole cult thing, it's when it's getting desperate. And I think they branch out to the cult because it worked for Resident Evil with Resident Evil 4. And the whole Los Illuminados and shit. It only worked for Resident Evil 4. You guys, yeah, I got that angry. It only worked for Resident Evil 4. So all you survival horror companies, please stop branching out into the cult shit. Nobody cares about it. Okay? It worked for Los Illuminados because they were still, like, they were still zombies, kind of. But, anyways, Condemn 2 Bloodshot. I mean, the game the gameplay is pretty solid. It's really short. The story's kind of whack. Like, it goes... Whoosh. They really try and make it more, a lot more paranormal than the first one. Like, the first one started a straight as straight investigation. This one starts out, like, straight wacky. Um, there are a few, like, highlighting moments about it that will stick in your brain. Uh, cabin in the Woods part in here is just fucking phenomenal. Scared the shit out of me. Except uh, Game Informer ruined it for me, so I already knew it was going to happen. It still scared the shit out of me, even when I knew it was going to happen. Um, I won't tell you. I might, I might have said something before in other videos, but if you haven't watched it, don't go back and watch any of my videos. Play this first. Um, the only reason I can really suggest you guys to go buy it now is because I know it's dirt cheap. I mean, I bought the game brand new, and I mean, I played it. I got my worth out of it. Uh, I let Dan play it. He also beat it. I think he's got a higher gamer score than me in it. And um, I was really pissed because I wanted him to play Condemned, and I just made a case of it. I put all my eggs in, and all the eggs in one basket for Condemned 2, and it just ended up disappointing me, man. Um, but like I said, there's enough to warrant like a $20 and below purchase for this game. If for some reason it's more than that, it's not worth your time unless you want it in your collection. But let's do a little bit of gameplay of the Doll Factory, which is the actual creepy part of this game. Let's get going. Oh, they changed the voice actor from uh, Greg Grubman or Grubman or whatever. The guy who did the first one, he's actually a famous guy. And uh, they replaced him with... Um, a guy who's Spanish. Anyways, that's not saying anything about Spanish people, let's just say. Doll Factory.
What's up, alcoholic? Rosa, how will I find you? I have such hope for this franchise, man. I really hope, like, I really hope they bring it back. Oh, uh, when you're using a gun in this game, you'll notice that Ethan's really shaky in the second one. It's because he's an alcoholic, so you actually need to drink to stabilize his hands. When I witnessed saw somebody fit your description in an old doll factory. Is that where you at? My parents moved here from New Orleans when I was a young boy. I grew up in this neighborhood and I want to help. I don't care about evidence. Oh, I don't remember what type of fucking mixing tank, tank it is. Make this shit up as I go. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. It must have been glare, but... There's a fucking doll just crawling across the floor. Jesus. Nice kick. Flashlight. Mixer, mixer. Mixer, mixer, settler. I hope that's correct. The panel has a lock on it. The factory manager can remember more than his name. He wrote the combo on the wall in his office. All right. God damn it. Sorry, it's been a while. I know, it's a fucking mixer. Get on my face. First time through, though, I'm not gonna lie. First time through, Doll Factory just scared the ever living shit out of me. <coughs> what the fuck is it? Seventeen, twenty-three, ten. 
I did. Like you just saw it. Ah, oh, son of a bitch, they're all down there. Fucking dolls. I hate him. You get too close to him, you can die. Jesus Christ. I know you're thinking. Mr. Thomas, the whole factory is going up in flames. You need to find the safety foreman's office and grab a mask. Where is this damn office? On the second level. Oh, and one more thing. If you come across the ventilation control room, use the air duct as a shortcut. You usually have to move a bunch of shit to find the vent door. Give me that doll back. Shit. <laughs> Into the vents. I'm going to leave it here. Because the doll factory is the best part, and it gets so much better and creepier, especially when your hordes coming at you. That's all I'll say about that. But, uh, like, that was the highlight. And I'm not going to lie. Like, the second playthrough, it was pretty boring. At least Condemned 1, I played through three times, and I thoroughly enjoy it. Condemned 2, you just can't do that. Condemned 2, when you beat it once, man, that's all you're ever going to want to do. But if you want, like, a little bit of a, I guess a little bit of a, scare you can play condemn 2 if you just want to play condemn 2 because you play condemn 1 go ahead and do it but uh it's not worth any more than 20 dollars i'm gonna tell you that right now nah. and if i was going to give it a score out of 10 because i didn't say it for the last one i would give this honestly a 6 out of 10 because they had a tacked on multiplayer that sucked and uh compared to the first one it just could not stack up and the story is what really drove the first game for me and the story is what took this game down so sadly that's just the way it worked. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what, the, what they try to do, try to make it a more action-y game, but you just listen, Sega and...